Okay, some fun and games with cell voltages. What we have here is some reactions with some of them being things that are in our data book, and some of them, like stuff with element X that they've just made up, and we have to work out what these reactions are and what their individual voltages are for each half cell. So let's get this PBO2. Let's look at that. PBO2 lead oxide plus sulfate plus acid. Is there anything like that in our redox table? Yes, there is, and we find it right away. It's right up here. This has got to be half of the reaction that they're giving us. Lead oxide plus sulfate plus four acids gives lead sulfate and some water and 1.69 volts. So let's get that down. That's good stuff. Whoever made this reaction, it looks like one of the things they were using was copy it out of the book here, PBO2. This is the second line in my redox table. Lead oxide plus sulfate plus four hydrogens. Uh, plus two electrons. Turns into lead sulfate. plus two water, and the voltage for that, we're told by the data book, is 1.69 volts. So that accounts for the lead oxide, and the sulfate, and the hydrogen, and this lead sulfate, and this water. So all the other stuff in the reaction apparently was X metal turning into a couple X plus ions. That's not balanced, that's weird. And contributing some voltage, which we're going to have to figure out. So we had X turning into 2X plus. I'm going to take that 2 off or it's just going to bug me. X turning into X plus. There must be an electron here. And that's got some voltage, which I do not know yet. But we're going to find it pretty quick, because they told us the total voltage for all this was 2 volts. So if the lead is contributing 1.69, and the total is 2, you can go 2, take away 1.69, and find that this reaction must have a voltage of 0 0.31 volts. Fair enough. Now. If we're supposed to build a table of reduction half reactions, like the one in our data book, this reaction is fine because I copied it out of the data book. We know that's got to be the right style and everything. What's wrong with this one? It's got the electrons on the wrong side. This isn't a reduction. This is an oxidation because it loses electrons at the end. If we're going to write this in our data book, we got to flip it around and get x plus plus an electron produces X metal, and now that voltage is minus 0 0.31 volts. That's what could go in our data book. We got this out of the way, and that is the beginning of our table of half reactions that they want. Now we have two, and we're going to be adding more as we go through these next couple lines. For now, we've got these. They're both reductions, because their electrons are on the left, and they both have voltages the way they're supposed to. So this is our itty-bitty table. Deep breath, and on to the next section, or the next line, rather. This middle reaction, let's see what it's got for us. They say we have 2x metal turning into two X's. That's this, isn't it? Only flipped. If we take this reaction, this up here is our data book, so I'm not going to mess with that, but I'll write that reaction again. Only flipped. If this reaction got flipped around to be X turns into X plus plus an electron, that would have a voltage of 0 0.31 volts.